Hello 3D Graphics 2. Um, hope you've all had a good summer. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us for the second part of this particular class. Um, and I want to go over today um, how this class is going to be handled, um, what with the school being sort of closed but sort of not, and all of those details, just sort of the mechanics of how we're going to do this class. So first up, by the time you get to the announcements page, there will actually be another one on top of this where we'll have this link that you are watching and some other descriptions. Um, um, but this announcement um, from Ray and from the school is basically telling us um, high flex modality, that's the technical term that the school is using. Basically, we're a hybrid course, which means students can either be in the classroom or not. Um, and I, I, in particular, have made this class as much as possible could be done online entirely if necessary in case we need to switch to that um, throughout the semester just we want to make things as sort of uh, flexible as possible um, so i want to kind of go over with you how the, the mechanics of this how this is going to work so that you know what to expect um, so the and this will actually be um, for those of you who took this class in the spring which is almost all of you this will be somewhat similar to what we went on to do when we switched to online um, with a couple of exceptions. So step one will always be um, content videos. Um, and I wish I could promise they would all be up on Monday. They might be going up on Tuesdays, um, but these are something that you would want to watch first. I know you're all familiar with the YouTube channel. I do not have a playlist yet for 3D2, um, but I still have one for 3D1. And um, I would actually recommend that you all take a quick glance at things if you don't remember them. We are going to be reviewing some things week one to get us back into gear. Um, but it's going to be um, a lot of information will go up here so that we can spend the lecture not lecturing but discussing and answering questions and getting you set on your homework. So um, as as the weeks go on, you're, you know, um, this is going to build up for 3D2. And the idea will be that you will watch these first. You'll want to watch these before you get to class. You'll want to watch these, you know, if I post them on a Tuesday, you'll have a couple days to watch them before our Thursday class um, to make sure that you have seen the denser lecture information. Um, there will be things that you can click along with in Maya if you want to or need to, um, but they, for the most part, will not ha have any, like, hand this in at the end situation. Um, so that's the first part. You're going to watch the content videos. The second part, the class time, this is where we differ from the spring a little bit, is that you do have to attend, quote unquote, the lecture discussion class time thing. Um, if you would like to attend it virtually, you may do that, but you do have to be in there. You do have to be checking in. And we're using something called Collaborate Ultra and um, all the DAC classes should have the link right here below announcements. And it looks like this, you click it, um, and it won't open up anything yet because this isn't running yet. Um, I'll show you this um, in a minute, but Collaborate Ultra will allow us to not only have a class set for every day, but, uh, or for every week, but also it will record them. So if for some reason you do have to miss a class, you will be able to go back and watch it and see everyone's questions. Um, now, a couple of details while I get into um, the teacher mode so I can show you the actual classroom. Um, first up, you'll see that there's two different times here. There's the time for class, and then there's this other time. Um, the time for class is the amount of time that you are allowed to be in the classroom. And we can actually, the um, it's also in the uh, earlier announcement, um, but Ray has up on our DAT website that um, what the actual scheduled times are. And you'll see they're very different from previous semesters. This is what it used to be. But because the room has to be cleaned in between, they're shaving a few minutes off the front end and about 20 minutes off the back end of class. So this is us here. This used to be the 2.20 to 5.15 class. Now it's the 2.30 to 5 class. And they're going to hold you to leaving at 5 p.m. If for some reason you're working in there, you need to start closing up and saving your files before 5 p.m. so that you may leave by then and everyone will be out of the classroom before it gets cleaned and then the next class will show up. So there needs to be this break between the two classes, this, this sort of... Um, this time break between everyone being in here. Also, do not get here early. Um, if you get there early, don't even come in the building. Just, you know, wait till it's 
you know, 228 and then walk in, right? So we don't, we don't want people hanging out in the hallways. Um, but the class time where we are actually lecturing and everything is actually going to start a, bit, a little bit later. I'm going to try for three o'clock right now. We're going to see how that works out. Um, because some of you, if you don't have good internet or anything, and you're not able to watch the videos days ahead of time, you will at least have some time in the beginning of class to watch them. Um, I don't recommend that if you can watch them earlier, please do. Um, and then this time could be used for, you know, setting up anything you need for class. Um, so I'm going to create a quick session just so I can show you all what this looks like. Great. And so we click on this, join session. Um, so that's how it's going to look, by the way. You're going to come in and you're going to see um, the name of a session. It's going to have a date on it and you can click and you can join session. Um, and it tells me I'm the only one in this room, so we can't see anyone yet. Um, but this will be a lot like the Cisco WebEx or if you've done Google Meet or if you've done Zoom, they're all the same. Um, you can mute yourself or not down here. You can mute your video or not down here. I suspect most people will not have much video except for screen sharing, which you will all be allowed to do. Um, I have that turned on by default. Please do not abuse it. Please wait to share your screen until there's actually, you know, I'm saying, hey, we'll share your screen so we can see what you're doing. Um, there is also this purple thing over here. So we'll have chats. Um, and this will list all the attendees. And you can also, there's other ways to share content, kind of, sort of. We'll get to some of these in class. And then you have your settings here where you can set your speaker volume and set up, you know, your phones and turn off all of the multitude of chimes for when people come in and out. Uh, a couple notes about this thing, though. For one thing, it is recording everything during class. And we're going to talk about that more um, and, and proper behavior next week, but essentially don't record the recording, please, um, to, to be posted elsewhere. You know, the rest of your class is trusting you not to share it. Um, and also just, you know, that the chat actually gets anonymized afterwards. Um, so what you say is recorded for posterity, but it is not recorded with your name for posterity. However, your voice is. So, um, and we will not be sharing this outside of this class. So this is just going to be for us to use um, to facilitate learning. All right, but I'm sure most of you will get the hang of this pretty quickly as you're all pretty technologically or fairly technologically savvy. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out how to delete this. Stand by. There we go. I don't need the extra session. Um, and as we go through uh, and make, you know, have more classes, you will see the recordings of the previous classes up here. All right, so you watch the videos first. I will post these as soon as I have them available, as soon as I make them. And then you have a couple days to kind of get the lecture, you know, the information into you so that when we get to class time, there's a few things that I'll briefly go over because I know they're very important. I want to make sure we understand them, but it's more for you to ask questions that you think, you know, the entire class would want to go over and to have me set you up with the homework um, so that you can understand better what the homework and the expectations are. Um, so steps three and four should be familiar to all of you because you have all taken a class with me before. And that is that your assignments with descriptions and due dates are always on Blackboard. So they are always going to be here. Do not do these. These are, we, I, these are not set up yet. Do not use these files. They're not even useful. Um, but any demonstration materials um, will be up here as well. They'll be labeled with their week. So that, you know, we can all, if I'm clicking through something, you know, providing you with a file, um, we want to make sure that you, uh, everyone's starting from the same place. And then the assignments will be here. You will also submit your assignments through Blackboard, which you have all done before. Um, a note on the due dates. So we are mostly online now, but we knew that going into the semester. So unlike the spring, um, due dates are going to matter again. I'm going to be a little bit more flexible about the time of, of day. I know that, you know, especially if people have to work in the lab, that can be a little bit tricky. More on help for that in a second. Um, but they really need to be due like that day because you need to be doing them in order. It is not posted yet because I still have to get like the main thing back from the, um, from the school. Um, but we've got our brief look at the um, general schedule. And um, these are meant to build on each other. So if you 
skip the stuff with the solar system and go right to the bouncing ball, you're going to miss fundamentals that are very, very important. This really is a sequential class, like, like very much so. Um, and so you're going to want to keep things in order. Even if you submit something that's not quite done, that is better than waiting to submit it late because you want me to see what you got done, you know, when we were using the graph editor, you, you want me to see that, even if it's not complete. So this is not the time for being a perfectionist. Animation is never finished. It's just abandoned. Um, so um, we also want to make sure that you're starting these things because there's a lot of animation in this class. Um, and we're learning the rigging through osmosis by using the rigs. And one of the hardest things can be, I ask you to do you know, this crane and hand animation, I give you a crane, like a mechanical hand. And the first thing everyone thinks is, what the heck do I do with this? So um, I will have examples for many of these things, but um, you want to make sure you're kind of coming ready to go to make stuff. I'm going to cancel. And then of course your grades with your average, your feedback, etc., also on Blackboard. Um, so it'll be here. And again, you've all taken classes with me before, so you all know the drill. Um, once you submit something, there's a yellow exclamation point. And it's at, you know, once I grade it, then there is a number. So it'll say 10 of 12, you know, 18 to 20, whatever it is. Um, if you don't, if you see a zero there, it means you didn't submit anything or whatever you submitted was a broken file. You'll see notes there. Please read them. Um, and uh, because a lot of this is animation, um, then I'm going to be having um, reviews. Um, that I private links posted on YouTube. Um, not for everything. Um, I figure the first time you redo the solar system animation, it's not going to need a lot of uh, you know help. But when we're getting to like the crane in hand, most of all, you know, th there's there's going to be things where like we need to watch the animation. So those will be getting to you via a private YouTube link, so you can hear even if it's short, just some actual feedback. Um, all right. So some support things. Um, if I think it is helpful, I will have either tutorials or excerpts of like books and things that I can, links to things that I can send you. They'll be posted up here. These will not be required, right? Um, because we don't have a lot of in-person time, I wanna make sure you have other options available, um, but there, uh, there's not going to be any, uh, I don't want to say not, but uh, for the most part, there's not going to be required reading. It's just going to be supplemental materials. Um, also, make sure you stay tuned to your announcements for updates to things. Um, this will not forward anymore. They have changed how email works. They have changed how Blackboard works. You cannot forward your school email to your personal email. Um, which means I will probably be emailing you most of at your personal email to let you know to check your school email. Um, it's unfortunate, but it does mean you have to check your school email to know if I'm getting in touch with you. I can't send you these things um, through your <laughs> real email address at this point. Um, and if you want to send me any feedback, you can use either of my email addresses. You all have both of them. Um, speaking of emailing me, please, when you get this, um, email me whether you're going to be attending class in person or virtually, um, or if you intend to do the first couple in person and the rest virtually, Wh whatever your game plan is, please let me know what that is so far so we at the school like on the site can plan for that um it's it's again you can do either one there are no points off for doing this all virtually as long as you are showing up for the class time for the discussion um or watching it later we'll go over how to make that up at another time um but we want again we want to make this as doable remotely as possible um because of you know how everything is going right now another thing to put on your radar if um you cannot work remotely if we go back to i think this link here goes to yeah so this link here goes to the dat courses which is this and it lets you know what all the classes are using we are 234 um we're using maya that's the only thing that we're using maya is pretty light and it's free. Um, the one exception is rendering, which um, we were supposed to go over last semester, but we couldn't for obvious reasons. So I've put that in week two. <laughs> so week two, we're going to be doing some rendering stuff um, just to make sure we get it in while we can still be on site. Um, 
and then we will um the most of the rest of the time is going to be animation and rigging and things that are are lighter and do not require um such heavy um computing power as rendering um but the other dat website i would like to go over is dat.setmore.com so normally this is where you would schedule advising with um or like two tutoring sessions with student um workers we do not have that this time what we have is 301 lab time. So our classroom is 303. You can only be in the classroom when you are in class. That is it. Um, but if you need extra time, I know this is 30 minutes, that's wrong. It's an hour and 30 minutes. You schedule an hour and 30 minute block. So I can go to computer one. And if I know my class runs from 2.30 to five, I think it is, then maybe I schedule myself some lab time from one to 2.30. Um, and so I look our class on Thursday. There we go. So I can schedule myself for that. Um, and then you create a profile and sign in. Same as before. It's all the same as before, except instead of meeting with a person, you're meeting with a computer and you're going to be using that computer for the hour and a half. Um, a few notes on this and just being in the classroom, um, at any time, you can only be in the classroom during your class times. Um, if you are in there, you should be working. If you are in there putzing around, someone will ask you to please leave because we we don't want anyone extra in any of these spaces. And if you are using a computer in the lab, you really need to be doing work because these we don't know how many people are going to need them. And so we really want them to be available for everyone who needs them for class. So please do not sign up for these and then like not use them. Also, you can't sign up for two in a row. So you can't be like, oh, I'm going to do 11 to 1230 and then one to 230. It's unless something changes and we know we have the space um, right now, you can't do sequential times. And you can see there's a half hour off um, where they ask everyone to clear out and then someone will go in and clean and then people will come back in. It'll be different people. Um, so I believe that is all I want to go over for now. Oh, um, for this class, we will be using some free rigs. Um, please, this, these, this is the guy who made them. This is the rigs, um, you know, credit where credit is due. If you want to download these and check them out, that's fine. Do not use these ones for the assignment though, because I will be giving you a specific one for specific assignments. Like I, I might say, this is the one we're using, but I might specify one of these, you know, like I might, I, I, I can, I will go in and maybe change some of the settings to add or subtract from the um, options because of whatever the assignment is. So it would behoove you to not use the one that you have downloaded because then you might not have certain options or you might have too many and there's a reason I got rid of some. Um, so please trust me um, and use the um, the one that I provide with each assignment. But this is, uh, most of the rigs that we use in class are gonna be coming through here. Um, specifically, we're going to be using the regular body. Um, later, much, much, much later. We are going to actually start earlier on, I believe this is the first rig rig we use. No, that's a lie. We do a simple bouncing ball first, and then we have the crane rig, and then we go back to the bouncing ball, um, and then we go to the um, the simple human character. Um, but if you want to check out some of these, what I like about them is they're limited in all the right ways. You can get really good animation out of these, there's no phase and we're not doing phase animation this year um you know we we want to focus on weight and motion general motion and emotion and um learning how to use these controls and what they do generally um so that you can you can get the, the hang of these kinds of things um we're going to learn about rigging by using a rig um so by using these things we're going to learn how about parenting and, and hierarchies and all that all right, so um, like I said, once you get this, there will be a new announcement here detailing this and a few other things, but you're to watch this video um, before next class so that when we get to class, you can ask um, questions about this. And I will open up this week, I will open up the um, 
online room early, um, like, you know, before three o'clock, I'll probably open it up a little bit after two 30 to make sure we have time to get settled. And I anticipate it'll take a minute, you know, people set up their microphones and everything. But once we, we learn things, I, I think it'll go a little bit faster. Um, and if you have any questions, please send me an email. Thank you.